Welcome back to Life in Rural Japan. Gary here. Today we're in Okazaki and we're having a look at a misogura, which is where they make miso and they store it in big vats. So we're going to have a bit of a look. If you enjoy the video, if you could please like it, it would really help the channel a lot. I really need, I really need all the help I can get. And if you have the time, if you could subscribe, I have a lot more content about things in Japan. So let's have a look and see if you enjoy it. Okay, here we are, we've gone inside. Here they've got a lot of vats here. Now they put a lot of rocks on top of the vats to compress the miso. So out of the miso they get miso and also soy, soya sauce. So this is why soya sauce is so salty. Now out here they have these stone, uh, stone, big stone bowls. And this is where they grind up the um, soya beans. So they grind up the soya beans and salt in these. And then they're transferred from here over to the big vats. Here are the rocks that they put on top. Now it's like a big jigsaw puzzle how they put these rocks together so they all stack up nice and neat. If you have a look at the little model here, they, they all interlock and they just sort of sit on top like that. This is a little shop they had in the Misogura where you can buy different miso products they sell. So they sell a lot of miso stuff. Also they, they'll sell you, show you, uh, soya sauce. So because it, it's a byproduct from it. Now with the vats here, you can see these ones. These are more display ones. These these are pretty new, and they're not made out of um, cedar like the proper ones. And they use the bamboo to hold it all together. They don't use any nails. Inside here, these are the old ones. These are all made out of cedar. So they're very old. All these ones are probably like a hundred years old. So they're really old. All the rocks stacked up on top. About three ton of rocks they put on top. Outside here, this is the miso after it's, it's finished. So these guys are going to pack it up into things and sell it to you. Cost you 100, 800 yen for a bucket of it. This is a red miso. They have two types of miso. They've got red and white. This is a red miso. Here they just had a few photos on the wall. Now outside here, this is where they, after they've made the miso and taken it out, they wash these up, put them out in the sun to like sterilize them, clean them up, dry them out. So they've got all the rocks for each one and the vats. So these ones have all been cleaned up. So to make the miso they use only soya beans and salt so that's and then out of the they get the lot of liquid comes out that's the soya sauce that's why it's very salty they use so much salt now this place they're going in to stain the steel ones instead of the cedar ones mainly for hygienic reasons stainless is a lot easier to clean and it's a lot better you know easier to clean more hygienic so that's the one in Okazaki now we're just going to jump over to this one in Nishio this is an old little place in Nishio this place been going for over a hundred years so here they've got all the rocks here you can see there's a broken barrel they've had yeah so a lot of rocks they've got the rocks everywhere these are like river stones so you can see here, this is the top. So it's all numbered so they can put it together. So it goes together. It's just like a they all slip slips together. Then they put the rocks on top and this helps compress it. So we've got plenty of rocks. There's an old barrel there. Here's the old cedar barrel. So they're quite tall. Probably about two meters tall, these barrels. Hmm. 
I use these bits of wood in there to line it all up so they don't have to use nails because now you know like uh, iron would contaminate it so they don't use any a lot of rocks they put they put about two to three hundred rocks on top of each barrel so they need a lot of rocks now this is inside here we're going in here this is where they this is the storage place very pungent smell in here it's really strong the smell so this is inside we've got a lot of barrels same thing they use all the bamboo wrapped around them to hold them all together so the bamboo holds it all together this place pretty good it's got it written in English and Japanese you know old-fashioned storehouse so like I said, this place has been going for over 100 years. So I think they try to keep it a bit historical, for more a bit more for tourism. But like on the outside of some of these barrels, it was like, they was like a bit moldy. I don't know if it was mold, but you can see it's probably the salt coming through. And it sort of crusts up because they use a lot of salt. There you can see, yeah. Two to three hundred, two to three ton. They put on top. Yeah, old-fashioned barrels. It's quite interesting in here. It's quite dark actually. It's it, they don't have a lot of real lot of light in here. They got a fan going to try to blow some air around, but otherwise it, it's sort of pretty dark. Yeah, they had more up there. I think in Okazaki they pack the rocks up a little bit neater than here. Here it's sort of they just put more put on where Okazaki they tended to have them a lot. A bit more of a like a tower on top. Different places, different methods, you know. Yeah, see, old fashioned barrels. Wooden barrels, miso. Yeah, 180 centimeters. Been used for over 100 years, these barrels. Yeah, put the stones on top, three to, two to 300 stones, about two to three ton. Mm. So. Yeah, storehouse. Its own fungus. Yeah. So that's inside. That's where they store it. It stays in, in, in these barrels for about a year before they pull it out. A year or two. Before it's pulled out. Here, at the bottom there, you can see how it's got the, the tap, the plug. That's where they get the soya sauce from. So they pull that out and drain drain the liquid off for the soya sauce. Mm. So that's inside. That's actually that's the what they call the misogura, the gura, where the storage place. This is just a little room. They had a lot of history in here. A lot of old um, prints and that. Uh, a lot of old stuff, a lot of old bowls for mixing it up and that sort of thing. Yeah. And then this is their little shop they had where they sell their miso and soy sauce and things like that. It's pretty expensive buying from here. But, you know, that's what you get from a specialty sort of thing. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did... Are they your, um, what do you call, soya beans? If you did like it, if you could please uh, like the video and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Well, that's all, that's all for today. And there's your soya sauce there. 
Until next time, hope you have a good one. See you later.